Okay, it's October, October, excuse me, it's August 21st at uh, about 1024 and the eclipse is just now starting. There's a guy who probably came over here to land at this airport I'm at in Glendale, uh, Cal uh, Wyoming, but I don't think he checked the notice because they closed their airport so that everybody could get out on this big beautiful grass airport and, uh, and uh, land to see the eclipse. That guy didn't read the notums. That guy didn't read the notums. This airport's closed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I hope he does. Otherwise, he might mow somebody down. But anyway, this is like Woodstock for nerds here right now. The clips already started. I could barely tell on my uh, on my. Uh, uh, we're looking through my eclipse glasses, but my phone confirmed it. I'm not going to point this camera at the sun because I'd like to use it again, but I thought I'd record as the eclipse gets going, I'll come back. I'll come back and we'll, uh... by golly, I think that guy thinks he's going to land. I wonder if anybody from the FAA came out. This is cool. This airport is known and closed. They've got a 4,300 foot glass runway and that guy's lining up with it. <laughs> Here he comes. All right. No, okay, I think he figured it out. I think he figured it out. <laughs> Sorry, Charlie. <laughs> Sucks to be you. Anyway, I'm going to look at the eclipse glasses a while and I'll, I'll, not, I'll film kind of the the surroundings and the, the reactions of people as they uh, as they absorb the eclipse. We are approximately five minutes from totality. The sun is still way too bright to look at with your naked eye, but looking through the uh, uh, eclipse glasses, it's just a little sliver now. The uh, the tone of the light is definitely kind of more yellowish if I just look at the surroundings here. Uh, I won't bother to put the point of the camera. There's two hot air balloons behind me, uh, which is an interesting way to watch the eclipse. And uh, I just wonder what's going to happen when the wind comes back. It's dying down now, but it was pretty strong earlier. Kids are, some of the uh, astronomy people have set up uh, pinhole cameras that the kids are having a lot of fun with. Let's look through my glasses again. Yep, it's just a like a little crescent moon shape. I haven't seen any sparklies or anything yet. We're 35 after and totality's at 43. So we got about eight minutes to go. It's probably about what about 70 or five degrees or so maybe maybe yeah about 75 I think is what it feels like hurry up guys <laughs> okay you can just see the, the moon just eating the Sun very very interesting I'm looking for like coronas and sparklies or stuff, but I don't see any of those. Let's see here. I just want to check and make sure my my uh, microphone's working, and it is. Okay. Good. Definitely getting dimmer here on the ground. Definitely, the sun is doing something. I can't still can't look at it, but without the glasses but it's definitely getting dimmer <sighs> what time is it now we're about four or five minutes from totality
Okay, they say when you when it hits totality, I'm going to take my sunglasses off. What's it look like outside now? Definitely a weird color of the light. That's the only way I can describe it. It's just kind of weird. You know, it looks a little bit like look at the line of trees near here. They're very green trees along a creek bed. And they they have almost an HDR look to them. Okay, about four minutes to go. How much of it's left? Just the tiniest little sliver. Boy, but it's bright if you try to look at it. It's definitely cooling off a little bit. I see uh, there's a hot air balloon coming up right over, right behind me. One or two now. I just wonder what he's going to do if the wind picks up when this thing, sun starts coming up again. He's up there pretty high. Somebody's cheering over there. It's not total yet. Still too bright to look at, well, even though we're only about two minutes away from, we're about two minutes away from totality. Just took a quick look at the two hot air balloons that are right above us, but it's still, sun is still really bright. Departed, you know, for your naked eye. Way too bright to look at, even with just a little sliver of it still showing. What's it look like outside? Oh, there's a balloon. There's a balloon. The balloon make could eclipse the sun if he's not careful. That would piss people off. Okay, we should be hitting totality really soon. We should hit totality really soon now. <laughs> Still a little sliver left. Still a little sliver.
still. Oh, it's like it stopped. Come on, man. Cover it up. Sun's not as bright as it was. I flipped my glasses up real quick and it didn't burn my retina, but I'm not going to take any chances here. So There's just a little sliver of it showing. Definitely yellowish. Definitely the light is very yellowish now. You know, it's, it's, it is sort of fading out. Okay, the crescent is actually shrinking. I think we're about there. Still too bright to look at directly. But yeah, it's not even a, you know, it's less than a, about a less, slightly less than a quarter of the sun is showing right now. Still too bright to look at. It's fading out from my sunglasses. My eclipse glasses can barely see now, but it's still too bright to look at directly. Definitely getting darker. Still a little bit of sun left. It should be about total now, but I still see a little sliver. Definitely a very yellow, dim light now here on the ground. Still too bright to look at it, but I can't see it in my glasses anymore. It's still a little bit too bright. I need another minute or so. Wow, 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 I see the, uh, I'm working through my regular sunglasses. Uh, oh man, oh man, it's like something from 2001. The sun is going, the sun is gone, yay! It's amazing, I see stars, it's twilight on the horizon. The sun is completely covered up. I'll switch to my clear glasses, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That is amazing. That is amazing. Oh, there's an airplane. There's a jet plane flying right by it. Somebody's going to get a great picture. It's pulling a contrail right by it. Wow. The, the sun is completely obliterated by the moon. It's like a little... It's got a ring of fire around it. A uh, little... Like almost like clouds sticking flowing out of it. It's amazing. Wow, this is worth 1,200 miles of driving to see this. It's just fantastic. Well, it's interesting. The horizon here has turned orange. My goodness gracious! My goodness gracious! Can we must be under a We must be under a jet airway because there's more airliners flying around up there. You see now with the sun blotted out. Okay, I think we're about to to go out of the big part of totality here. Oh the bugs are all flying around. Somebody saw a bat. Make sure I have my eclipse glasses ready here. 
I'm just looking through my regular prescription clear glasses right now. It's still covered up. I can still look at it with the naked eye. It's just not hurting me. I can see little, little like chunks and stuff. You know, as I guess the moon is slowly revealing. It's like at the end, the right hand limb of the of the moon. It's it's jagged. Yeah, I doubt if, okay, the sun's coming back out. Here it comes. It's coming back. Yay, we're saved. Time for eclipse glasses again. Wow. That is friggin' amazing. That is amazing. Okay. Still not bright enough to come through my eclipse glasses. But the, the earth is lighting up again. Definitely can't look at it anymore directly. Okay, starting to see it in the eclipse glasses now. It's fun to just look around. I'm just looking around here. It did get colder. I did feel a temperature drop. Wow. It's coming back now. You know, it's interesting. It's still not bright enough to see through the eclipse glasses, but... Oh, yeah, okay, it's coming back. I can see it through the eclipse glasses now. Still, okay, now yeah, it's definitely coming back. I can see it clear, pretty clearly in the eclipse glasses now. A very thin arc. It's more fun just to look around at this point. It's more fun to just look around. Well, that was something I won't forget. That image of the sun with, uh, I don't know if they're solar flares or solar clouds or just some kind of atmospheric phenomenon, but it wasn't like you know a star you know like a, a like looking through a star lens at a point source of light if you've ever done that it was irregular like triangular shaped clouds coming out at different angles of it okay well still got i guess about another hour or so before the sun is completely back I'll go ahead and stop the recording now. And again, I'd like to dedicate this to Blake Freeberg, my friend, the physicist and astronomer and programmer that I, I miss every day. Uh, I hope you're somewhere where you can enjoy it even more, Blake.